All right, this is April, also known as Grandma. Today I want you to talk I, I want to talk to you about a very scary subject if you're not a part of the remnant. Okay. So a lot of things are getting ready to come down the pike that are not really good. In fact, <clears throat> that's why Jesus said when all this stuff comes, you need to run. So, should you be afraid? Yeah, unless you're a remnant. Okay, they're getting ready to roll out. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's been telling you this. <clears throat> These mandatory vaccinations. Um, also, in order, there's going to be a food shortage. Um, also, there are, there's also going to be uh, a lot of other things coming down the pike, like the the state police or military police, rather, are going to be uh, doing the mandatory vaccinations according to what Donald Trump said. And he said it would go to the most vulnerable communities, which... Now, it really might be us, but I, I just don't believe it. It could be, but because to me, it looked like older white people were the ones mainly getting the COVID. I could be wrong, but I just feel like they're trying to make it a black person's disease. So when they write history, they're going to show or create all of these thousands of black people that died. And just looking back, looking back at all the people, because I used to visit nursing homes, um, it's more white people in nursing homes or non-African -Amer American people in African in uh, nursing homes than white people. So how are you gonna make this a black person's disease? About just showing people every day on the news crying that happened to look like me talking about the loss so should you be scared yeah you really should because they're gonna mandate the vaccinations the, the police are literally the military rather are literally going to come to your door and insist that you take a vaccination so yeah, you should be scared. So then it's still gonna keep being natural disasters, what they call acts of God. Your place, you might be constantly relocating from one place to the other. Um, and having babies. That's the other thing I did a whole video on that. If you having a baby and you can plan on having a baby at the hospital, you know by law that you're going to have to get get your baby vaccinated so you can pretend all you want to that everything's going to be good it's not so i'm trying to think of a lot of things that um you know and they still going to be put, doing stuff to the air the water uh putting stuff in the water and not caring it's all for population control okay so should you be afraid oh yes you should you really should unless you're a remnant now a remnant is a person that happened to be sold out to god like me and thousands of others now what do you do if you're not a remnant okay what you have to do if you're not a remnant and you want to be saved from the wicked one from the evil one like what Jesus prayed he said don't take them out of here in other words he was saying because the people that get took out are the people just like what the Italians used to say take them out let them sleep with the fishes okay so here we go it's pretty simple if you're from the household of Israel specifically the tribe of Judah that's in North America. Uh, it's Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Hadn't anything changed? The people that he gave the rules and stuff to. He said, "If my people, we're talking about Yahweh, 
My people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive them of their sins, and I'll heal the land. Okay, so what you what do you have to do? You have to cry out to God, ask God to forgive you. Now, if you want to cry out to Jesus, that's good. He still accepts us calling him Jesus, but we know that that's not his real name. All of that is going to be worked out when we leave. Okay? So, in the meantime, be petrified. Be horrified. Be terrified. Because what's come, it is terrifying. You know, if he told uh, the remnant to run... He said, one going to be taken and one going to be left. The one that's left is the remnant. And so he's even telling the remnant to run. And I would admonish you from this point on, have a backpack uh, ready to go. Have some tennis shoes. I've talked about that. So you really need to be scared. If we just going to be running and teleporting and doing all this other stuff. But here's the thing. Unless you have already... Uh, talk to God about being a martyr, a lot of people are literally going to be killed. And you might be one of them. So how can you avoid death? Well, you can avoid death by taking the mark of the beast, and the government will take care of you, but God strictly forbids that, so you will be damning yourself. He's already said, don't take the mark of the beast. All right, so... The, the law is coming where the government will be taking care of you. When you go to the grocery store, all you have to do is let them, you just scan your hand under the scanner, because I think it's probably going to be humanless uh, agents in there. Uh, so you'll have your chip in your hand or your forehead, but you will be forever damned. So... You at least you'll be eating if you wanna if you wanna go that route. But here's the thing, even with the chip and the government uh, taking care of you, you're still either gonna be experimented on or killed automatically. It's gonna be one or the other. You, either you're gonna have a slow death, especially the people with heavy heavy melon in them, are going to die a slow death because they're trying to going to be trying to harvest our DNA to prolong their lives. Okay? So it's not looking good, people. It's really not. It's not looking good at all. But there's a way out. You have to cry out to God, ask him to forgive you of your sins, turn away from that and start reading your Bible. Start having conversations with God. Start practicing the ten, <coughs> excuse me, the ten commandments. Just talk to Him like He's, <coughs> excuse me, like He's in the room with you. Okay. Sing to Him. Say, okay, I'm new at this. I hadn't. I hadn't taught, heard from you in a long time. I remember Grandmama used to tell me about you. Uh, if you're new to this, start off reading the Bible. Let him ask him, where should I start reading the Bible? He'll, he'll tell you. A lot of times when I open my Bible, it's just random. 90% of the time, I don't have anything in mind that I'm going to, a scripture. So, and that's the, wherever I turn is basically where he wants me to, what he wants me to read. So you might be like that, or he might tell you to start wherever. The main thing is getting a relationship with God. If the churches happen to open back up, make sure you're led by God to um, where you're going to join. But mm, I don't know. Because I haven't been in the church in over five years because I saw all the hypocrisy and, you know, all of this stuff about tithing. 
If you don't tithe, you're going to be cursed and all this nonsense. Okay. So Jesus, when he talked about tithing, it was literally about food. Look it up. Food. Even Malachi said, bring me all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat. They're talking about literal meat. We had to provide for the priests. We don't have to do that. Jesus is our high priest. Okay? So if you do join a church, don't pay no tithes. Then they might kick you out like they did this 80-year-old lady that was a member. And she stopped paying her tithes. So they kicked her out of the church. Good for her. She ain't got to deal with them crazy folks no more. The pimping preachers. Okay? So... The main thing is God wants a personal relationship with you. He does. He's been missing you if you once upon a time knew him. He wants you to come back. And for the people that have never had a relationship with him, I would advise you to um, just start carving out at least 15 minutes a day uninterrupted. So if you have to hide out in a closet like I used to do, um, do it because you know I used to say because your life when I was telling people to memorize Psalm 91 because your life might depend on it no because a parakeet can quote Psalms 91 it's all about an intimate relationship with God and that's what he's been wanting and this is in case you didn't know how we got here this, this mess here is how we got over here Okay, being disobedient, not following the Ten Commandments, loving other things other than Yahweh. So this is Grandma, okay? I want you to be safe. I want you to live a long, prosperous life. These are going to be the worst of times and the best of times. It's going to be the worst of times, but it's going to be the best of times for the remnant. How is that? We're still going to be protected by God. We're going to be teleporting. We're going to be defying death. All this stuff in the Marvel comics, it was made after us. So I'm looking forward to it, actually. I want to teleport. <laughs> you know how when we were kids, when somebody tried to do something and maybe your big brother or somebody came, then you start making kind of making fun of them like na 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 <laughs> Basically what's gonna happen, I'm not gonna be making fun of these people, but God is. He said that uh he's gonna mock people. I don't want God to have to mock you because he just going to laugh at you and repeat everything that you say. Say when you're calling out to him. If you don't already have a pre-established relationship, it's going to fall on deaf ears. You're just going to get killed. Sad but true. It's going to be a lot of people getting killed. A lot of people don't want to accept the fact that God exists. And he's the one He's allowing all of this to happen. Why? Why is he letting good people die? To get your attention. To get your attention. Because if all the people were bad, y'all would be saying, and probably me, well, look at the person's character. What He did all of that evil stuff. Okay, that was just, uh, he handed him his butt. Okay. And he didn't survive. All right. But, Back to the relationship. It's just be perfectly honest. I'm new with this. I don't know much about you. I heard about you. I think you exist. Start where you are. He will take it from there. Okay? I want you to be safe. It's my desire that he doesn't take you out like Jesus said. You know, we're going to have to be running. What do you think is going to happen to y'all? Y'all going to be caught and y'all going to be killed. Unless you're a covenant child. I can't make it any plainer than that. Shalom.